Hi, my name is Alison Glover from Unlocking Potential. I'm the Programme Director. Our Future Focus event on February the 27th is tackling the subject of disruption. So I've been working with businesses in Cornwall for nearly 20 years now and the European programme um, has been in place for about um, 18 of those years. Um, and I have seen massive transformation in the way that people in Cornwall work through some of the brilliant initiatives um, such as the combined universities in Cornwall, Superfast, um, the, the changes to roads and infrastructure that the European funding has allowed us to do. And um, personally, I have massively enjoyed being involved in that transformation of people, place, and most importantly, attitude, opportunity, and aspiration that, that I've seen change. I grew up here in Cornwall, um, and as a, as a teenager heading off to university, I had no intention of coming back to Cornwall because I didn't see it was a place of opportunity. And I think what has really changed is that pe people really now start to view Cornwall as as a place of opportunity and of a place to go to or you know encourages people in and people want to stay because we have that balance of um, lifestyle happiness um, we're clear about what we want in life um, and I appreciate that that's not the same across all of our communities and we've still got a lot of work to do um, with um, a lot of our um, disadvantaged communities but actually our overall ambition and aspiration for the county is high. Um, so Brexit is going to disrupt that, um, but not massively. You know, none of us know where we are. Are we in? Are we out? Um, is there going to be a second referendum? What's going to happen? We know that 68% of people in Cornwall voted to leave Europe. So against that backdrop, um, we know that we've got some real challenges ahead. Um, but what I do know is that all of the work that has been done through the European programme is about building resilience in people and businesses. And, um, and I think that's what we've got to hold on to because this is going to be the biggest test of our personal resilience, our approach, our, our attitude. We may find, let's hope in six months' time, that it was, it's wh whichever the result has been that actually things are fine. We've found a new normal. Um, but actually, what we have to, to be is in the driving seat of what that new normal looks like. Um, and, and however it's going to impact your business, whether you have to evolve or transform your business completely, or whether you need to just make some small changes um, and, and kind of steer through some choppy waters in the short term, is um, I hope that through the landscape and the business support that's available, we're, we're going to be able to help and guide businesses um, through that, that, that new normal and the exciting times ahead. Thank you.